one of the first days out on the range. That's my ride. All right, let's get it going. Nice, right through the center. Now my local archery club has been closed because of COVID-19. Once the province started lifting some restrictions, the outdoor range has finally opened. Now for all this time I hadn't been shooting and admittedly pretty rusty. I knew it would take a little while for my muscles to get back into shape and for the muscle memory to come back. If you're first starting out or trying to get back into it, this is a little helpful trick that I use. I've shown this in previous videos where I put some markings on my riser to help with the aiming. Usually I don't use any sights on my hunting recurve, but getting that muscle memory back is sometimes hard to do. So putting these markings on the riser helps me to get that muscle memory back. So I'll start off at about 20 yards, and that's my top marking here with the tape. I kind of know where my 30 yard mark is, and that's my 30 yard mark right there. So after a while and a lot of shaking, my groups got a little tighter. There's always flyers off to the side, but that's just due to my own error. And when you're new to shooting, you don't want to change too many things. Keep your sight markers where they are and see if you can consistently group. If you're going too high, you move your tape up. If you're going too low, you move that tape marking down. But always take a lot of shots before you do any adjustments, as you have to rule out your own shooting errors. So this is where I'm aiming right here, which is the mouth of this wonderful drawing somebody put up there. And what happens is the original tape mark that I put was actually a little too low, which means that I'm actually shooting high. And when I correct that and move the tape a little bit higher, it lowers my shooting point. So and that's a pretty good area. There's a few flyers down low, but that, those I know were my fault. Now setting up for my 40 yard, I always have a bit of that green tape. It's just painter's tape just on my riser. I'll just cut a little piece off, a little small sliver. And don't worry, the paint job on the riser, yeah, I might get a bit scratched, but this is a pretty old bow. It doesn't bug me. So after I cut the piece off, I'll just place it approximately where I know the 40 should be, and then I'll test it out. Now in this clip, it doesn't look that great, but in follow-up shots, it was a lot better. Now the 50 yard mark is around where this kind of hole is. And those 50 yard shots, again, are pretty spot on. I just use that circle area as my 50 yard marker. So go on, get out there. I mean, this works for me. This is something that I use occasionally to kind of get my confidence back up. Like I said, get my muscle memory back into shape uh, with shooting the different ranges. And then I'll often take off the markers eventually. And this works for me. This may not work for you. People will say, oh, you're cheating. You can't use that in competition. But again, this is not for competition. This is for my enjoyment and for hunting. So heck, I can do whatever I want. Most important thing is you get out there and you enjoy yourself. And I often find that when I am hitting my target, I'm gonna enjoy myself a little bit more. And of course, it's time for the joke of the day. My wife is on a tropical food diet, so the house is full of fruit. It's enough to make a mango crazy. Get it? Mango? Mango? <laughs> this is the best one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Shoot safely. And I'll see you in the next Ladybug Adventure.